video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we're going to look at how you can create your own cover page for your documents in Word. So I've created a cover page right now with my logo and a little bit of text saying this is for training manuals. And I've just inserted a little shape with my name at the bottom, which I'll imagine is like the cover page, a kind of footer or kind of like banner at the bottom. Now I would like to do that so I can reuse it easily in new manuals that I have to write in the future. So to do this, I'm going to begin by selecting everything on my cover page. And I can do that by clicking Select on the Home tab and Select All. You can also do Control A. Now with those selected, I can click the Insert tab and there is a cover page button on the far right and within there this is where I wish to save my cover page into this gallery as they call it now there's a lot of cover pages already in here that are provided by Microsoft so there's a selection ready for you to use even before we go and do our one but I'm going to choose save selection to cover page gallery and I'll be presented with this dialogue about creating building blocks, which is a very, very useful feature of Word. If you're not familiar with building blocks, I encourage you to search for what else we can do with that. For me right now, I'm going to type in manual, imagining that this is my training manual cover page, and I'm going to store it in the cover pages gallery, and for category it will be general. Now this does however mean that my cover page will be at the bottom of that gallery we just saw. It's not a very big one, it doesn't take long to scroll to the bottom. But what I could do is create a new category. And if I give it the name Computer Gar Gar but proceed it with a underscore. The reason I'm doing that is because their cover pages the ones provided by Microsoft, are in a category called built-in. And yours will always be below that because that is sorted by a name and general would obviously be below built-in. So for me to put it above that, I want to change the order by starting with a symbol. It will appear before cover page. Uh, sorry, before built-in as a category. Description should be encouraged. I'm going to skip that for now. And I'm going to save it in the building blocks file. This would ensure that this cover page is available all times to me. In any document I go to create, I'll have the option of inserting a manual cover page. I could save it in a specific type of template. It would be the other option. And inserting it on its own page is essential really for this. Being it's a cover page, that's exactly what we want. It is the only thing on this page. I'll click OK. And that is now saved. So you don't really see it right now, but it's ready. Now I'm going to click on my View tab, because if I go to Switch Windows, I have another window already open, another document already open, ready to demonstrate this cover page. So I've got this table of contents at the moment. I want a cover page before that. My insertion point is just blinking before that there. I can click on Insert cover page and there it is at the top of the pile because of the underscore computer gargar category proceeds built in alphabetically and if I give it a click that is in if I just scroll down you can see that that is now my cover page the table of contents on the second page there and that is how we can store our own cover page for future continual use taking a lot of saving a lot of time and improving the consistency of our documentation i hope you found that video useful please check out some of our other videos on our youtube channel come check us out at computergargar.com